Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Happy Easter. It is actually Easter Sunday as we're filming this. We will have it posted later today. So um, if you're watching it, it's almost live. It's uh, not quite, but it's, think of live on delay. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the day. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you guys are just having a good weekend and um, are dealing with everything going on in the world in a calm and happy manner as much as possible. I know everybody is scared and kind of trying to figure out what's going on right now. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. My birthday is actually tomorrow. So I've always been kind of you know, born around Easter time. Normally it falls close to my birthday. So I do like Easter a lot. I love the springtime. Um, yeah, so I figured what a better thing to do than just do like a quick little fun eye look um, and say happy Easter to you guys. So yeah. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the page and this is your first time here, then welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like what you see because we're posting a bunch of content right now and um, we're trying just to do as much fun and unique stuff as possible. So without any more of a sales pitch on my end, we're gonna jump into the products we're using today. There's one palette that I, I don't use very often, but I always think of it when I think of like Easter time and like pastels and things like that. And that's actually the Lorac Pro Brunch palette. Um, they put it out, I think like maybe three years ago, like maybe it was 2017, 2018 around then when they put it out. And it didn't really get a whole lot of hype, but I really like Lorac a lot. And it's just a really nice little neutral palette with a bunch of different colors in it. Um, very, very well done in terms of the pastels. I don't see a lot of palettes that have like so many different pastel shades that are enjoyable and usable. Um, I think it's something that a lot of people just are kind of like, they either forget about or they're like, nobody really wants it. I really like this palette. I don't use it often, but with Easter, I always think about this particular palette. Like it's my initial go-to one. But because I did want to have a little bit of darker colors just to make my life a little bit easier in terms of creating a dimensional eye look, I did go ahead and grab my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. I feel like it's got a different name than that. Oh, it's Phoenix, yeah. So this is, there's the, it's the ultimate collection and this is the the, um, the Phoenix palette. And I picked that up when we did our full face of NYX products. And um, I don't have a lot of NYX palettes, but I really like this one. It has a lot of really nice like oranges and reds and yellows, which I thought would complement those pastel colors that I was working with very nicely. And then to finish it off, I did pick up my Stila Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Peach Pretense. So. These, I tried these for the first time not very long ago. Maybe it had to be under a year because I definitely, when I picked them first up, we recorded the haul and the video or the channel is not quite a year old yet. So it was probably like seven or eight months ago and I love them. I'm not, I was never really like a big liquid eyeshadow fan, but I just, I've really grown to love them and I have a, quite a few different um, shades and I have a couple different companies that I bought them from too. And I just really enjoy using them. So let me pull it out and show you guys what it looks like today. That is what that bad boy looks like. It winds up when you put it on the eye, it winds up being a lot uh, pinker than what I was initially expecting with the um, the shade in the, the tube. So we will see how that turns out. Um, yeah, so without any more rambling or explaining things, I'm gonna jump into the eye look. It should be a really simple one. I'm not trying to do anything heavy and it's not like we're going anywhere, but I did wanna just like kind of make myself look a little bit nicer for Easter. Um, yeah, and celebrate at home. So I'm gonna go in first with Sorbet, which is kind of like a dark, I, I'm gonna say dark, but it's not really dark in terms of what actual dark is because it is a, a pastel palette, but it's one of the darker shades in this particular pastel palette. And um, uh, it's like a mauve purple, like a light shit toned mauve purple, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that. And just do like a little bit of a base on the outside. Okay, so now, now that I've got a nice little base going, I'm actually gonna take a darker shade from the NYX one. It is a kind of like I would, a, I would call it like a maroon. It's not really like a bright red. It's not really purpley at all, but I really like the shade, so I think it'll work well. I'm just gonna do a little bit on the outside corner, just like I said, just to give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit of extra color and pop. I happen to pick a shirt today that has literally every color under the rainbow. It's like a bunch of different floral patterns. And so I've got like reds, purples, blacks. I think there's some blue in there somewhere. So like, I feel like any kind of eye color is gonna kind of work with it, which makes my life a little bit easier. But I always am more, I just gravitate towards reds and purples when I'm doing my eye look, red, purples, and oranges for some reason, which those are not really the colors. Purple is probably my favorite color 
purple and blue, but like I very rarely use blue at all in terms of eye looks because I just don't like the way it looks on me. Like sometimes I, I do and I'm like, it's okay, but it's just not a color that I normally go towards. Um, I did grab a little bit of the dark purple that is on that NYX palette as well, just to kind of round out the darkness. And with that same brush, I'm gonna go under my eye as well. All right, so that's what we're working with so far. I am, it's very simple, not gonna do a whole lot more if I'm being honest, um, just a little bit, but pretty easy. And I really like the colors, how they're all working together. I am gonna go in with Jelly Donut, which is a shade in that Lorac brunch palette. It is a light pink, like a very light pink. I think it's gonna make like a nice kind of blending shade just to give a little bit of color, but also to kind of help neutralize what we've done so far. And honestly, on the eye, it shows up almost, it's almost like flesh toned or translucent. Cause I can barely see it, which I'm okay with. That's kind of what I was hoping for in this particular one. Or when I was looking at the shade, I was like, I hope that's gonna make a nice, like just kind of neutral blending shade. And that's exactly what it did. So that is what I was hoping for. <sighs> My eyes are watering so bad. Our, our, pollen here is just awful. We're supposed to get a really big rainstorm today and I'm hoping it's going to wash the pollen away, but literally like my eyes just like, just as I touch the brush to it, they're like watering right now. So I apologize for that. Okay. So just to give it a little bit of a darker tint to it, still want it to be light, but just a little darker. I'm going in with hot sauce, which is like a very neutral peach shade. And I'm going to do that kind of along my crease. That should assist that light pink that I used as kind of like a blending shade just once again to give it a little bit more of shape and dimension. I am gonna go ahead and now, now that I've got a good base color going on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the peach pretense with the Stila and then we'll see what we need to add in addition to that before the eye look is complete. All right, I'm gonna pat it down with my finger now. I think, so it's coming off a little bit patchier than I want and I'm not actually sure why. And because of that, I think I'm actually gonna go in with another glitter shade over it just so that I get like a little bit more of a whole look rather than just a like, it's, it's doing a good job of like, I'll catch some reflectiveness and I'll be like, oh no, I can see it, it's all on the eye, but it just, when you're looking at it straight on, it kind of looks patchy. So in order to correct that, I am gonna go in with another glitter shade. I've got a couple good options in the NYX palette. There's one that I think will do very well. And we're gonna put that over this. This is just kind of like a very neutral champagne shade for glitter. Okay, so I did go ahead and put the glitter shade over the, uh, the Stila liquid eyeshadow and I really like the way it's looking. Basically what I've got going on now is I've got that nice pretty um, champagne color and then you'll catch like just like a little bit of like pink and purple glitter under it, which I really like. Um, and just for like a little bit of fun color, I'm actually gonna take a yellow shade and I'm gonna go above kind of where I did the peach shade earlier and just give it a little bit of an additional color scheme so it's not just all red. It's got just a little bit of the yellow in it because I think that will match what I'm wearing well and I think it kind of goes along with the Easter vibe that I was trying to do. So this is a very quick, simple eye look. I was just trying to get something that kind of was um, fitting for the holiday. Not too hard, not too crazy. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I actually really, really like it. I think it's a cute eye look. I'm gonna do mascara because I can't tell you uh, how I feel about an eye look fully until I see it with mascara on. So I'm gonna do some mascara really quick and then we will be done. And you guys can go and celebrate your Easter and have a wonderful and blessed day because that is what we are here to do. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, it was just a really quick, simple, happy Easter type thing. If you guys don't celebrate Easter, I hope you enjoyed it as a nice springtime look. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys just all are staying safe and healthy in this um, this crazy time. And uh, just remember, the only way we're gonna get through it is loving each other and having you know hope and, and treating each other with kindness. So I hope you guys are um, are just keeping that in mind and staying safe. I love you guys all very much. I hope you guys have a great holiday, a great day, a great weekend. Um, and yeah, if you if you like the video, like I said before, please subscribe. That definitely helps the channel out and uh, definitely give the video a thumbs up. And then as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.